four belt shots. He's pissed. Oh, oh I... over that that curb stomp. Oh, oh, he just kicked Logan in the face with Matrix boots. Oh, he's got both of them. Both tag team champions on the back. He's making them think about it. Oh, oh my! Oh no, we're gonna see a monster suicida. Oh, hey. It's been on. <laughs> Many people are wondering what the Monster Kong Kong is doing these days. Is the man sitting in the tree with his face painted, ready to pounce on the next animal that comes by? Possibly. But in reality, my name is Steve Wilson. I am a 21 year vet of professional wrestling. I was trained in 1998 back in Holland, Michigan uh, by a name, a man by the name of Joe Ortega. Kind of got into training people right around, uh, say, 2010. Um, trained uh, quite a few students for Body Slam University, um, which was a part of the Heroes and Legends wrestling group. My very first start to finish student, Mark Vandy and I opened up Professor Kong's Wrestling Academy in Bluffton, Indiana. As a 20 year vet, it is my goal to give back and to keep professional wrestling going. At least professional wrestling as I grew up knowing it. I want to take some of the knowledge that I've learned and be able to pass it forward to the next generation. Because if we don't do that, wrestling doesn't carry on. My hope and my goal is that things will pass soon and we can get back to doing what we love. Because Lord knows I miss it. I love coming down here and I love running around the ring, but Without the audience, what am I doing? Without you, the fans, what are we doing? Oh, pretty stiff elbow for Vandy to call. Oh! oh! He might have jammed his nose into his brain. I think an important part of professional wrestling is the idea that it's not just wrestling that I teach, but helping people be confident, helping them grow as a human being first. And then the professional wrestling comes along. I don't believe that professional wrestling is just about the physicality. I believe there's a moral there. I believe there's a story there. And if you will, I believe there's a ministry there. I believe that the art of telling the story of good versus evil and eventually, good does outcome the evil. Any challenges in this world, I think if we put our heads together and we work smarter, not harder, and we help each other, and we think about the next man, the fellow man, you know, old or young, big or small, um, I believe this race, this human race, get it right and we'll overcome and most of us will still be able to do the things that we love and enjoy our lives. That's what this is all about. Telling you that it's always good to bet on yourself. <laughs> <laughs>